When you log into Canvas, this is what you'll see. The main area will be a recent activity feed that includes announcements, messages, and notifications. You can click on any of these areas to get a particular item. Over on the right is a to-do list which includes upcoming deadlines in all of your courses and a coming up list with other key dates and things to note from your courses. You can go directly to any of these individual items, but the main entry point to your courses that you'll want is your Courses tab. It will probably show up as Courses and Groups. This lists all the courses that you are enrolled in, and you can click on any one course to enter that course. Your main view of an individual course will be the modules. This will either be your course homepage or will be uh, linked from the homepage. This includes all the items that you have to engage with for a particular week. That includes pages that have content for you to view or read, and pages that you have to interact with by submitting or posting something. When you click on any item in the module and get to the bottom of the page, you see a Next button to go to the next item in the module. So you can click through each of the items that way, and they're connected with the Next button. Many courses include discussions as a key component of the week's activities. They will have a prompt with instructions at the top, and then you can reply below. To reply to the main question posted by the professor, click Reply directly beneath that question. And a box opens up where you can type or post multimedia, such as a recording from your webcam, if your professor allows that or requires that. And that can be your post for the week. When you're replying to classmates, under each individual message is a link for reply. And when you click that, a reply button opens up. So to reply to the main question, click reply underneath it. And then to reply to any other message from a classmate, click reply under the message you're replying to. It's a very basic interface. It looks and feels a little like Facebook. And so hopefully you'll get the feel for it pretty quick. When you're required to submit a paper or another private response to a professor, you'll see an assignment like this with details about that assignment and instructions, and over on the right is the button Submit Assignment. When you click that, you'll be able to attach your paper, and you'll see the file you've selected there. You can write a comment to the professor about it if you wish, otherwise just Submit Assignment. And then you see that your submission has been turned in. You can view the file you just submitted, but you know that you've completed your assignment and can move on. On the left side of any course is a navigation menu just for that course, including the syllabus, modules, discussions, and so forth. Keep in mind that your modules are really your home base. They include all the materials you need for that week. The login screen that gives you the notifications and other items might only tell you about it, assignments that are due and things like that, but the modules have all the files that you need from start to finish for that week. You can also look at grades and calendar to see how you're doing in your courses and what the key upcoming deadlines are. If you ever have any questions or any problems while you're using Canvas, go to the top of the page and click Help. And there you'll see some options. You can search Canvas tutorials, but an important step is to report a problem. And there you can summarize and describe a problem you're experiencing and submit it. And it will go first to help personnel here at Calvin Seminary, and it can be sent on to Canvas support if it's a bug they need to fix. So if you encounter an issue of any kind, you can submit it here and get the help you need. We hope this makes your Canvas experience a smooth one and one where you don't have any anxiety about using the system, but if anything comes up, that's how to get help.